Hey guys, so in today's video, I did something that I have wanted to do for a long time. Because uh, here's the thing, I often get to hear that, oh, I wish I could draw like you, I wish I could do that type of art, but since I can't afford a drawing tablet or I can't afford Photoshop, I won't be able to do it. And of course, while having a drawing tablet, it definitely makes things easier, but it's not necessary. You can make amazing art only using the computer mouse. But when it comes to Photoshop, you don't need Photoshop. There are tons of free and amazing uh, drawing programs out there. So while I, I do love Photoshop and I do not plan to uh, use any other type of software, however, I can afford Photoshop. And if you can't afford Photoshop, there are a lot of options out there that might work better for you. Another thing is that just because you have a drawing tablet and just because you have Photoshop, it won't give you like the skill that I have, the skill that I have um, worked so hard in order to to get. Like I have practiced so many hours and that is why I am on the level that I am today. So that you won't get that for free just because you buy Photoshop or a drawing tablet. It's all about practice and that is why if you practice you can make really good art only using the computer mouse and a free drawing software. So in today's video, <laughs> just to prove that, I'm using the drawing program Fire Alpaca. Um, and this is the first time I've ever used this one. I've never like played around in this program before. So this is like kind of my first impression as well. And <laughs> I'm only drawing using the mouse. So my drawing tablet, I haven't used that at all in this video. <laughs> okay, so right off the bat, I, I really liked how it was to sketch in this program. It was, it was almost easier <laughs> than it is in Photoshop. Well, at least when it comes to the mouse. Because um, I have uh, drawn with the mouse in Photoshop before and Especially like the sketching part, I struggled a lot with, um, even recently when I tried to do it again. So this was actually much easier than Photoshop, uh, so I, I like that. I also like the, um, like, uh, there is a brush that is called pen fade in slash out. And what that basically did was that when you drew something, when you drew a line, the ends of that line uh, would thin out. So that way it kind of appeared like you had used pen and pressure. And that gave the sketch uh, a neat appearance, which I like. I did not like <laughs> to draw, like to color uh, as much. Uh, I really like, enjoyed sketching in this program, but I did not enjoy drawing in it as much. However, I kind of figured out <laughs> how how to get the brush to work the way I wanted it to in the end. But in the beginning, I really struggled because there was there were not a lot of settings that um, there was not a lot of settings like there is in Photoshop. So, like flow, it didn't exist and. I couldn't find a way to make a brush like harder or uh, softer. It was either like soft and then it was an airbrush pen or an airbrush or it was a hard brush and that, that was something that I didn't really like. However, I figured out um, later that if I used uh, the watercolor brush and had 100% on complement, it kind of worked the way a normal hard round brush would work in Photoshop. If I wanted to have, if I change the settings on flow, because that is what I usually do. I have a hard round brush and then 
I have every percent on flow. So I kind of got that brush to work that way and <laughs> once I figured that out it was so much easier. It was so much more pleasant for me to draw in. Um, but yeah, I, I'm, I didn't really like how little you could like change the brushes. And like I said before, like this was kind of a first impression. I haven't really done that much research, so I can't say too much like bad about it because I haven't really tried it out that much. And I know that you can uh, download brushes, but still, I tried to make a few brushes myself in Photoshop just to see like how that would work. And it didn't. <laughs> it didn't work good at all. Like, it didn't work at all for me. Because then the colors, for some reason, became darker. And it always, you know, it almost was like I was using a burn tool. And, yeah, so that didn't work at all. But using the the watercolor brush, it, it worked out. It was, it was pleasant enough. But with the other brushes, I kind of felt as though it became like really pixelated. And that that is not something that I like to see in my own art. That doesn't really fit with my style. But again, I found a way around that, and the end result. I mean, it it's good. It's not it's not the best, obviously, but it's good enough, and it was easy finding everything. Like finding uh, how to make a new brush, finding the brushes, finding how to make a new layer, finding the pencil, the eraser, and etc. So the layout of it was really nice and it was easy that way. So I, yeah, I, I actually would recommend it. Although there were things, again, that I didn't really like, but again, I... I haven't really done that much or any research at all regarding this software, so uh, don't take my word for it. So if if you are interested in trying out this program, I, I recommend it because again, it was easy to get started and that is something that I like because otherwise it's, it's, it's annoying if it would take you like an hour to find like everything like where the layers are where you create a new brush where you yeah I think you get it so it's a it's a good it's a good program to start off with and I would recommend like if again if you are interested in this do your research and really find out more about it so you won't be more prepared than I was but yeah, that is basically all I have for this video. And if you like this and would want me to try try out uh, another program, like let me know and let me know what program do you, you would want me to try out. Um, I will only try out free programs. Okay, so yeah. 